customizing the colors of the user interface. So 3ds Max has all kinds of colors and for every little object you can control every element of the graphic user interface so any little thing you can change. Now typically I don't recommend you just start going around changing all the colors for the heck of it but uh, there's good reasons. For example, you might be colorblind and not see a particular color very well. So you might want to go and change that particular color. So if you do want to customize the colors, we want to go up to Customize. We want to go to Customize User Interface. And then we want to go to the Colors tab. Okay, We want the Colors tab. In the elements, we want to pick whatever element we're looking for here. So in my view, I can go to the elements. I have all kinds of things my snaps track view track bar you know my geometry you name it I can change it my viewports and so I pick a topic and then it has everything about the viewports that I need uh, at this point I could say oh my viewport border I don't like the color of that and then you can just go and pick on the color swash and then you can pick any color you want and say OK. And then you can hit save and that will be that different color. Let's say you want to come back and change that to the original color. You highlight that particular element and you just say reset and it'll go back to the default color. If you want to go back and reset every single color in the user interface, then you come down and hit reset and it will warn you if it says you're going to about to lose all the changes in your menus if you want to do this so but if you just want to go back to the original color and you don't remember what it was that's what the reset button is for so this is a good way if you can't see it or you're colorblind or something like that you can change those particular colors away from the standard